Right, here's a quick tutorial about Node Calendar API and using Node.js for it. So I've tried um, connected to the Node Calendar API in some different ways, but you go to the guides and we've got examples with um, various languages here. And I've used JavaScript on this, um, and believe it or not, using JavaScript and following this guide is actually a lot more complicated than using Node.js. So today, um, I'm going to just use Node.js and just show you how simple that is. So the first thing you need to do is install Node and NPM and you can get started with that here. You go to node.js.org, install it for your system um, and then install NPM as well. And there's and there's a uh, guides here. I'm not going to do that now, right now. Um, I'm going to look at the rest of this tutorial. Um, so first of all, enable the calendar now. That's done, but I need to click this to download the credentials file. And I'm going to put that file in a folder I've made already in there. Right, so that's made. Um, and now I want to open this folder in terminal, which I've already done here. Um, if you want to do that, you can just drag the folder into terminal and that will open it in the right place. That's the that's one easy way of doing it. So first of all, you want to install this. So let's just click the copy thing here and paste it into there. Now that, if you look down here, will start installing uh, the Google Calendar node stuff. And uh, you can see it getting stuff there. And here it is building in. It's made some stuff. We've got some warnings. We don't need to worry about those warnings. Though. They're all fine. So now we need to copy this example file. So click to copy. I'm going to use Atom, so let's go to Atom, paste that in, and save it as index.js, as it instructed. So there's the index.js file. You can see some JavaScript here. Um, now, the next instruction is run the following command. So we're in the right folder. We have to be in that folder, and we just type node. Dot. And we have to authorize it, so copy this URL here and paste it into the browser. Choose your account and for some reason when I do that it likes to grey out my screen. Don't know why, um, that gets it back. Anyway, we've now got this code. Paste it in there, go. Again, it grays out my screen. I don't know why it's doing that. It's kind of entertaining. But right, what that's done though is it spat out in my terminal the 10 upcoming events. I've only got two. Um, if we go back to the calendar, we can have a look in here. Here's my Google Calendar. Let's make another event. Um, a third event. Save it. And I'll run that command again. So. There we go, and it's got three events now. So now there's loads you can do to customize this, and the, the bit of the code that's doing that is down here, and you can have a look at that. But if you dig in to the Google Calendar API, there's lots of information about how we can start to do more fun stuff with this. Um, that's it for now.